At the 2024 International Defense Exhibition and Seminar in Karachi, Pakistan, Global Industrial and Defense Solutions, a conglomerate of many Pakistani state-owned enterprises, held a major showcase of its latest unmanned aerial vehicle program, the Shapar 3. The GIDS Shapar III is Pakistan's largest and most advanced drone program to date. A Group 4 class medium altitude long endurance UAV with a maximum takeoff weight of 1,650 kilograms, the Shapar 3 promises significant range and a much improved payload and varied mission capability compared to any of Pakistan's other domestic drones. On the surface, the Shapar 3's specifications reflect a design that is similar in size to China's CH-4, Turkai's Enka S, and the American MQ-1 Sea Gray Eagle. However, as the Shapar 3 is yet to fly, the actual performance of Pakistan's new drone is to be determined. That said, the level of attention Pakistan's SOEs are paying to the Shapar 3 points to a deep level of domestic interest in the UAV. Not only is there an effort to develop many munitions and subsystems, but a focus on achieving niche yet complex mission roles. The latter will include maritime operations, deep strike against conventional targets, and electronic warfare, EW. It is unlikely that Pakistan would foot the Shapar 3's development bill unless it was backed by the Pakistan Army, Pakistan Navy, and Pakistan Air Force. Pakistan did not disclose the development cost of the Shapar 3 up to this point. However, one can get a partial understanding by evaluating similar programs from elsewhere. For example, Turkey spent 107 million US dollars to develop the Turkish aerospace industry's ANCA. It is unlikely that this amount covered the total cost as eventual orders of the ANCA, and its subsequent orders would hover around 20 to 30 million US dollar per unit. Therefore, the total overhead of the ANCA likely exceeded the 107 million USD figure. One can plausibly see the Shapar 3 costing Pakistan at least 100 million US dollars, if not potentially closer to 150 to 200 million US dollars. This is a significant investment, one that would not have been made if the goal was to produce for only export. Combined with the growing ecosystem of weapons and sensors, a large domestic order could drive significant foreign interest in the Shapar 3. Pakistan's tri-services, PA, PN, and PAF, operate a wide variety of domestic and foreign source drones, the latter primarily being from China and Turkey. Among these, the Bayraktar TB2 and China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CH4B, being particularly popular. The PA and PN operate the CH4B, while the PAF flies both the Bayraktar TB2 and Akuncha, Chinese Wing Lung 2, and Leonardo Falco. Of the domestic drones, the Barak, Shapar I, and Shapar II are among the PA and PAF's mainstay UAVs, especially for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance in light strike roles. None of the tri services operate large numbers of UAVs in the 1,500 kilograms to 2,000 kilograms range in terms of maximum takeoff weight. In fact, it seems that the PAF is currently the sole operator of large UAVs with maximum takeoff weight of over 4,000 kilograms via the Winglung 2 and Bayraktar Akansha, which weigh 4,200 kilograms and 5,500 kilograms, respectively. With the exception of a handful of CH-4Bs, the PA and PN are mostly reliant on smaller UAVs weighing under 1,000 kilograms. Thus, there may be a gap in the 1.5 ton to 2 ton maximum takeoff weight range across each of the tri-services, especially the PA and PN, which have to commit to larger designs and numbers. In fact, some of the capabilities revealed at IDEAS 2024 speak to surface ISR and target acquisition and maritime roles, further reinforcing the idea that the PA and PN may be the prime domestic users of the Shapar 3. However, this would not discount the PAF, either as the Shapar 3 could fit into its long-range strike and electronic intelligence strategies. These factors indicate that a large domestic order could be coming, giving the Shapar the third strong early sales momentum. Moreover, an early and widespread domestic push would help distribute the R&D overhead, 
thereby helping GIDS market the Shapar the three with a more competitive price point. Combined with lower domestic labor costs and potentially some key indigenous inputs, the Shapar 3's price could be relatively aggressive, at least compared to Western UAVs.